everyone. Long time no see. I am currently driving to my other job. Don't worry. I have both my hands on the wheel right now. Um, but yeah, I, it's been a really long time, hasn't it? I have not uploaded in a couple months. I actually like barely even read in those few months. I haven't finished a single book. Um, it's just been a, a rough... <laughs> rough end to the year of 2020 but yeah we're in the new year now it is let's see I think it's like the fourth right now um and I decided that I'm going to start doing more videos I asked my other job like the bookstore the main job that I have if I could possibly go down to part-time not really even part-time just like four days a week but uh, they agreed and that's only going to be for a couple of months, but that gives me some time to catch up on my other job as well as do more reading and uploading. So that's what I'm going to do. I am driving to my other job. Like I said, I had to sit in the car for a good 10 minutes to wait until my boyfriend, he offered, I didn't make him, um, until he cleared off my car for me because it had snowed the previous night. It's actually beautiful out right now. You could probably see it in the window. Um, but yeah, I, I sat in my car for a little bit uh, and then I got some coffee. Dunkin' Donuts has toasted coconut iced coffee and I am really enjoying it. Um, I just tried it today and if you love coconut you'd probably really like this. I had to um, kind of get over the fact that I wasn't like eating a toasted coconut donut because that's usually how I eat it. So it was a weird feeling to ha have the taste of toasted coconut but as a drink. Um, but yeah, I, I love it. It's great. <laughs> and I plan to do for this vlog reading obviously I am in the middle of a crap ton of books and I just really need to get through them you know I realize that this probably isn't a very good angle for me but we're gonna go with it <laughs> um, I'm deciding that I'm going to be trying to finish um, two books that I'm in the middle of uh, which obviously I can't show you because I am driving right now but um, touch of darkness is going to be one um, I will put an image up here. Uh, my coworker bought it and is letting me borrow it because she, we both saw it on TikTok a lot and it's just one of those like trashy romances, but a Hades and Persephone retelling, here for it. And then I'm going to also try to finish my audiobook of Rent a Boyfriend by Gloria Chow. I think that's the author's name. Um, that is a young adult romance, uh, contemporary romance that I'm listening to the audiobook of and I have about only like 15 minutes of which I'll probably finish it on the way to my other job right now so that's what uh, I'm gonna try to do and maybe start a different book later on in the week because it is only Monday right now so that's my plan I'm going to get back to actually driving um, instead of talking I'm gonna drive and listen to my audiobook and then probably some music because I'm probably gonna finish it before I get there but yeah that is my plan so I'm excited to get back into YouTubing and yeah I hope to see you guys later <laughs> hello everyone I am at my other job now I have been here for a few hours and I finally finished all of my bills and things that I needed to do for the day and so I have let's see I have like an hour an hour left of my day maybe an hour and a half left of my day so I wanted to let you all know that on the way to this job I did finish the audiobook of Rent a Boyfriend by Gloria Chow this was a audiobook that had started last year <laughs> yeah it feels weird to say that but last year and I finally finished it today it was super fast paced I just like only ever listened to it when I was driving to the job that I'm at now which I only have to drive here like two days a week so I didn't really have much time to listen to it anyway but I did finish it it was a really cute YA contemporary about a young woman she's 19 um Chinese 
American woman who editing me here that is actually not Chinese American that is Taiwanese American so sorry about that I was just like speaking so quickly but yes it's Taiwanese American who decides to <laughs> quite literally rent a boyfriend because her parents are trying to set her up with this other guy that she does not like. So she rents this boyfriend. His name is Andrew. Her name is Chloe. He goes by Drew though. And it's just them kind of fake dating, of course, and then they start to actually fall in love with each other. But it had a lot to do with her culture and how her parents look at her and how they think she should act and behave and what she should go to school for and all of these things like who she should marry and everything like that like that is part of her culture and how she grew up um but she does not want to follow that she wants to go her own way she wants to go to her dream school in chicago and so she signs up for <laughs> For help through this uh, app and she quite literally runs a boyfriend and then obviously Drew has his own kind of problems and things going on and he's 21 I believe but they're just a really cute couple and it's just basically about her you know moving past how her parents think of her and hopefully like becoming her own person and then hopefully being accepted by her parents as well so it was a cute YA contemporary super fast pace and I would actually really recommend the audiobook it has two narrators it does have a woman narrating um Chloe's chapters and then it has a man narrating Drew's chapters so it's it does f have a full cast, I guess, uh, but it was re really enjoyable to listen to, and I gave it three and a half out of five stars. So it was a good start to the year, not too shabby, but now I'm going to try to finish A Touch of Darkness by Scarlett St. Clair. Lots of sexy time in this, let me tell you. There, it, this is an adult fantasy. Hades and Persephone retelling. I am so here for it. The, the main character is Persephone. She lives in pretty much our world, but the gods are actually a part of the world now. So obviously she is a goddess, but she's kind of hiding amongst the mortals. Nobody knows about her. And she's just going to college and living her life until one day she goes into a club and it is owned by Hades himself. Kind of reminds me of the show Lucifer in a way. And it just kind of picks up from there, and they make a deal. Well, rather, she kind of enters into a contract unknowingly, but <laughs> it does take off from there. And it is fast-paced, romantic, just a really good classic Hades and Persephone retelling. And I'm enjoying it so far. I have, let's see how many pages I have yet left about like a hundred pages left in it so I should be able to finish it today once I um am home I also like I said I have an hour left of my day here so I'm gonna probably read for that hour and then I will read when I get home I do want to do like a workout my workout routine when I get home and possibly if I'm in the mood film like a sit down video maybe my favorite books of 2020 who knows if I'll actually be in the mood to do that. But yes, I'm gonna get started with finishing the rest of this book. Hello everyone. So I just finished a short little workout. I did like a Pilates low impact workout and I decided I wanted to update you all on my read in progress. So I finished both Rent a Boyfriend and Touch of Darkness. I already talked about Rent a Boyfriend, but Touch of Darkness I did finish as well. Today's actually Wednesday now. Um, I did not update yesterday on Tuesday because I had a migraine and I didn't do anything. Also, oh, I cut my hair. <laughs> Got it cut. I love it. But anyway, I... Uh, I'm updating you. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Touch of Darkness, I finished that. And I also gave it 3.5 out of 5 stars. I thought it was really fast paced and definitely something that you could devour. However, the world building wasn't there like at all. And there was some parts in it where the writing just wasn't up to par basically. And 
I still enjoyed it, but it definitely wasn't like my favorite thing ever. I don't think I'll continue on with the series, but it was a fun read. Basically, it is about Hades and Persephone, and they are living in the modern world, and in this modern world, all the gods still exist, and they're actually worshipped, and Hades, like, owns a club. He's kind of like Lucifer from the show Lucifer in a way, and it's just a fun kind of series, and Persephone is in this deal with him, and it kind of goes from there, but it definitely has a lot of sexy time in it, so... If you like that kind of thing. Uh, basically, that's the only reason why I read it. Um, and it's also a Hades and Persephone retelling, which is my favorite type of retelling for sure. So yeah, I finished those two, which is great because I did not finish any books for like two months. So to be able to finish two books within a day or two of each other was just amazing. But I also wanted to talk about the next book that I picked up, which is The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley. She is the author of The Guest List, which is one that I really, really enjoyed last year, 2020. Um, I decided to pick up her first book, which is The Hunting Party. This one, I am 64 pages into it. Yeah, 64 pages into it. I am enjoying it. It is uh, about... Obviously, it's a mystery, I should just say that, but it is a, about a group of friends who, they're in their 30s now, but they used to be college best friends, you know, every year they go on this little retreat. Um, each person would, like, set up each year a, a different type of retreat. This time, they set up a little trip to go into the Scottish wilderness, and they're in this, like, nice cabin type deal and they have all their individual cabins and there's couples in there and then one gets killed or someone gets killed they find a body and what I like about it is you don't know who has been killed yet so that's kind of cool it does have multiple POVs so you're trying to figure out who is actually the one that is killed I kind of have a feeling I know who it is and then obviously we're going to try to figure out who did it. So it's classic whodunit kind of thing. I am enjoying it. I just love Lucy Foley's way of telling the story. So I have a strong feeling that I'm going to like this one as much as I liked the guest list. Because it has a similar vibe to it. It also kind of reminds me of One by One by Ruth Ware. So if you like Ruth Ware's writing, I'm sure you will enjoy this. But yeah, so <laughs> I'm going to probably eat something now and then continue reading this because I'm sure I'm going to fly through it. So if I do, that'll be three books that I read this week, and that's just, like, crazy to me. But I'm really excited. So I'm going to probably make some ramen, because <laughs> I'm broke. <laughs> hey, guys. So don't mind me. I know I look atrocious right now. I just got out of the shower. I just finished, like, a workout, so I really wanted to shower and then get on here and update you on my reading because this morning I finished, by the way, it's Sunday, um, <laughs> this morning I finished The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley. I had read to like the halfway mark last night and then I just told myself that I'm going to finish it today and I did. So I finished The Hunting Party and I really, really enjoyed it. So I gave this book four out of five stars. This is a adult mystery novel. The This is the author of The Guest List. This is actually her first book before she wrote The Guest List. And I love her writing style. That's like the first thing I have to say. She kind of kept the same writing style where you not only are trying to figure out who could be the murderer, but you also are trying to figure out who got murdered because it's following different perspectives and one of those perspectives could be the person that was actually killed. You don't know. But so basically what this book is about is it follows a group of friends who every year around New Year's they get together and they go on this like mini getaway where they can celebrate New Year's and have a big party but it's usually just the group of friends. These friends are now in their 30s but they've been doing this for years and it follows how many perspectives? We have Emma, Katie, Miranda, Heather and Doug. So it follows five perspectives. Doug is the gamekeeper on at this 
place that they end up going which is in Scotland they go to this kind of resort that's very secluded and if it snows they're going to get trapped there um, which inevitably happens but you follow Doug who is the gamekeeper who kind of has a secret he has a hidden past as they all do basically <laughs> and then it follows Heather who works there as well she is kind of like the manager there's only three people who work at this kind of getaway Doug and Heather being two of them so it follows those two and of course they both have secrets so you're kind of wondering what's going on with them and then it follows Emma who is the newest member of this friend group she's only known them for a few years now she became friends with them because she ended up getting into a relationship with one of their good friends then there is Miranda who is kind of like the prim and proper like queen of the group everybody loves her but it's also not even I can't even say loves her because they do love her because they're friends with her but she can be really bitchy I did not like her as a character I will say that and then there is Katie who is Miranda's best friend knew her the longest and Katie is the complete opposite of Miranda she's shy she is more on the quiet side and also has secrets so they all have these secrets going on and in this friend group there's also the significant others of them of all these people that I just mentioned the significant others as well as a couple extra people so there's not very many people here at this kind of getaway in Scotland and so when one of them turns up to be dead they figure that the murderer has to be among them. So I really really enjoyed this novel. I loved the pace of it and I loved how it would flash forward to the present day which would be January 2nd of 2019 where they actually find the body of the missing, missing guest and that's usually Heather's perspective is the more present time and then it would go backwards in time to three days before, two days before, and one day before they end up finding the missing guest. So you're also getting a lot of glimpses into these characters lives and trying to figure out which one of them is actually capable of murder and which one of them, I don't know, might have deserved to die. That sounds awful to say that but that's the type of book it is. So I really really enjoyed this. It was super fast paced. Definitely one of those mystery novels that grips you from the very beginning and wants and, and makes you want to keep reading it. So I really really enjoyed this one. I'm so glad I read it. Um, I love the guest list like I said as well. So now I am realizing that I just love Lucy Foley's writing so I can't wait to read more from her. So I read that. I finished it. That makes three books that I have completed this week, which is tremendous because it is the, what is it, the 10th now I think, and that means that I've read three books, or rather finished three books, in 10 days compared to the past three months where I wasn't reading anything. So that is just wonderful. I'm glad I'm getting my reading mojo back. I also wanted to mention, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier and I guess I'll find out when I edit this vlog, but I am listening to an audiobook of Broken in the best possible way by Jenny Lawson. This is her newest memoir that is releasing in April, I think. Um, I'm listening to like an advanced audiobook of it through Libro FM. I, since I am a bookseller, they give me access to certain um, audiobooks that I can listen to, and this is one of them. And I also have a physical copy of it, and I am enjoying it. She is very, very funny, and she is the one that's actually narrating the audiobook itself. So it's through her own voice, and it's hilarious. It's so good, but it also has that serious undertone of what she is actually dealing with in life, including depression and among other things. Um, so it does have that serious undertone, but I am still really enjoying this because it is making me laugh out loud. So I did start listening to that. I think I have like three hours left of the audiobook. So I don't know if I'll actually finish it tonight, uh, mainly because I want to focus on reading an advanced ebook copy from NetGalley of 
Mask of Mirrors by M.A. Carrick. So this is, I think, an adult fantasy. I don't know anything about it though. I requested it mainly because adult fantasy, but also a lot of my friends in this like group chat and the Space Sirens book club also had advanced copies of it and they wanted to do like a group kind of read along just to like chat about it. And so I requested it and I was approved so I decided that I wanted to start reading this as well and so I only have read the prologue so far but I'm hoping to get a good chunk of it read tonight since I'm not doing anything it is Sunday it is my day off my one day off in in the entire week which is now so I'm gonna probably finish off this clip of the vlog and maybe tomorrow I'll just end the vlog after I had read more um, so I can get more thoughts out to you guys but yes I am gonna go read now and probably put on some pants because I'm not wearing any you probably did not need to know that but that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> hey guys so it is Monday now and that means it is the end of this reading vlog I didn't read too much last night after I filmed that clip about the hunting party I started mask of mirrors and I got to chapter four and I am really really enjoying it it is there right now it's a lot of world building and character development like introducing the characters pretty much and there's a lot of like fashion and it's just really really cool so far and I can't wait to dive into it a bit more but that's not going to be a part of this reading vlog unfortunately this one was only a week-long reading vlog so that means at the end of this vlog I managed to finish three books I finished let's see Rent a Boyfriend a Touch of Darkness and The Hunting Party, all of which I no longer have because uh, the first one, Rent a Boyfriend, I read on audiobook and then Touch of Darkness I borrowed from a friend and then The Hunting Party I borrowed from my work. So I don't own any of those right now, but I did manage to finish all three and that is just phenomenal for me. I am really happy with that. So this is going to be the end of that reading vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun YouTube stuff, and I will see you all next time. Bye!